tegorocznych targach we Frankfurcie na stoisku firmy Digico chcielibyśmy porozmawiać z Jamesem Bradleyem, który przedstawi nam nowe możliwości konsolet, starych konsolet, które żeście kiedyś kupili, które nagle ni stąd, ni zowąd zrobiły się dwa razy większe. James, I would like to ask you a few questions, if you could just maybe... First of all, let's uh, talk about uh, uh, the new software. So the investment, let's say, of people who have bought an SD9 in the past, yes. or any any other console, because this is a... a the entire SD range, yeah. It's the rest of the range, exactly. So, uh, okay, let's maybe say something nice about the graphic appeal of, of, of these consoles. Yes, yeah, so Core 2 is basically um, an enhanced processing for the entire uh, SD range. We have an SD9 here, for, for example. First of all, the processing is increased, so um, if we look at the numbers here, we've, got, we've gone from a 48-channel console to 96-input channel. Uh, the buses have been increased. Uh, previously it was 24, it's now moved up to 48, so you can see it's a very, very large increase of processing. Um, the entire SD range will have this as an option. Uh, it's going to be delivered later this uh, summer, uh, June, July time, we hope. Uh, graphically it has changed, so we've taken the opportunity to update uh, the interface, so routing and things has been made clearer, and also we have some different visualization for uh, dynamics and effects as well. So we've actually improved the, the graphics on the Core 2 upgrade. So you can see here, it's a slightly different uh, look. Um, we've we did a fair bit of research to see which colors and things were better for uh, reading all of the information in daylight. If you click here on the dynamics, you can see now we can see our ds -er, comp standard compressor and multiband uh, compressor all have their own dedicated uh, page here with your threshold, etc and we get a, a much clearer view of what we're doing. A lot of this has come from um, our extra knowledge that we've gained with developing our S21 console. So you can see here on the outputs as well, we've, we've changed the graphical interface also. So we've also updated the uh, effects engine here. You can see we've got a new reverb with touch controls on the screen here. Uh, the obvious increase is the input paths uh, and the output paths, but actually we've increased things like our dynamic EQ, multiband compression, etc. For example, if we look at uh, the multiband compressor, previously on an SD9 we had eight, it's now been increased to 154. So there's a huge amount of processing in this update. I mean, we made the step to FPGA with our first uh, SD console, which is the SD7. So uh, when we finished the uh, D5 and D1 consoles, uh, John, our technical director, was looking at the newer generation of DSP. And actually, we came across uh, Super FPGAs, which can do a lot more mathematics and don't limit us as much as a DSP-based system. So uh, we decided that we'd create a whole range of consoles based on the FPGA always with the intention that we knew there would be um, ways to add more processing in the future. Often with, a, with, with most manufacturers, they build around a specification based on the limitations of the processing. Well, we always knew we had a lot of headroom within the processing to add more at uh, a later date, which means uh, uh, to own a Digico console is a great return on your investment. So Core 2 is going to be available this summer for the entire SD range of consoles. Uh, it's giving you a great return on investment with all this new processing power uh, that's going to be available uh, to download from our website. Mm -hmm.